Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with another tutorial. Today we're going to be making, uh, for lack of a better title, flippy tag belly band writing space flip out thingies. So let me show you what I'm talking about and then I'm going to talk to you about what you see here. So this is what I um, came up with. So I was really had it in my mind that I wanted something that had a flip out writing space, a belly band where you could actually glue this to the base of your page and just pull this whole bit out and then you've got this cute writing space that flips out. So I think it's adorable. And then this tag opens up as well for more writing space. So that's what we're gonna be making today. I am using, this is for the Fairy Magic journals. I am making two journals. One is going to be a, a lap book style, which I'm gonna show you here in a second. The other is gonna be more standard journal. Um, I've got a couple people interested in a fairy journal, so I'm gonna try to oblige and see what I can provide here. So that's what we're going to be making. Now, um, and so these are the bits that I set aside. I am going to show you how to make this one, but then I'm also going to show you how to improvise to make a taller tag by doing a hinge on the top of the tag. So doing a hinge up here, which um, technically I could have done with this one with this little um, topper here, but I'm going to show you how to do it with some fabric. So some coffee dyed fabric. So here we go. So I'm gonna set this aside. Um, and then this one is the one where I'm gonna show you how to improvise and make the, um, the uh, hinged top with this fabric here. Sorry if I'm being repetitive. Goodness gracious, so that's that. So this, as you guys, uh, many of you saw, I did a raw construction video on how to make a lap book. And then I just lost myself in the project and I just took off and created the uh, French Rabbit journal, which I'm gonna just pull over so you guys can see it. So this is the original lap book base that I showed you guys how to make on video. And then I just took off and went and make the, made the journal. <laughs> so um, I had a lot of people interested in seeing how I would put signatures in here and at what how I would decorate it. So we're going to be doing that together on the channel. So I won't be recording every video, but I will be uh, working hard to bring in as many of the pieces, the important steps into the process for you. These journals are going to be very mixed media ish. So um, these kinds of these kinds of things are going to be basic, just normal kit kinds of stuff. But there will be other stuff like we're going to be doing some texturizing on the actual pages that are going in the journal as you know texturizing the base um, I'm not exactly sure all that I'm going to do but it's going to be phenomenal and I'm so so excited now I've gotten in the habit of using working on more than one journal at a time because I like to mix it up and I like to have more than one thing to be working on so I decided <laughs> I am coming on, so this is uh, March, so April, May, June, July, in four months, my husband and I will be celebrating our 40th anniversary. And I talked about this some time ago on my channel where I was gonna take my wedding dress and go ahead and recycle it, repurpose it um, in my journal making. And I'm going to make a 40 year journal. So I decided that would be a great one to work on in, uh, really in uh, at the same time as this one because um, yeah, it would just be a good one. It's sitting in a basket, the, pe the, pe the things that I've collected, and so I thought I would get going with that. Unfortunately for that journal, I don't, I'm not going to have photos of my wedding or that kind of thing. I'm going to have to go through some boxes to find any, uh, uh, any photos of my actual wedding because I didn't get formal prints. I just got the like the four by six or whatever they made back in 1980, 1983. Um, but a lot of those, um, my daughter had helped me make a scrapbook out of them. And so they're all like, um, have the, they're cut wrong and they're just, they're messed up. So I'm going to be having to come up with a different idea of how to, how to embellish that journal. And, but it's going to be starting with how, when we met all the way to the 40th year. So it's going to be the birth of our children. It's going to be their grandchildren. It's going to be a book that's going to celebrate our 40 years together. So I'm super excited about that. A little bit nervous. It feels like a really daunting project because it's such a huge 
milestone in our life. Our journey has not been easy just because of my healing journey has been quite, has, t has uh, put quite a strain on our lives, um, emotionally, financially, in, in every way imaginable. But here we are. And um, pray, all praise um, to God because we would not be here if it weren't for him. So um, that's a lot of jibber jabbering. So this is the base that we're going to be working with and this is the fabric I picked. I didn't want to go and purchase any more fabric but I don't like the stark white on this so I'm going to coffee stain this and then um, when we're ready we will be doing the cover together and um, we'll be covering this entire um, this entire base both inside and outside with the fabric so um, without further ado let's go ahead and move on to the project at hand I did already pre-cut everything because that's what I like to do I will have to take some moments to ink things as we go along because I did not do that so let me pause and do that really quick. I'm just going to ink up the bits for this this uh, tag that is exactly the same size as this one. So let me grab my special um, educated ruler here. <laughs> um, whoops, wrong one. Educated ruler. Here we go. I have a hard time re reading all of the increments on the ruler. So my tag is three inches wide, and it is a. Uh, five and about five and a quarter inches tall the writing space height is two and a half two and a quarter excuse me and uh, the width the you can decide how tall you want that to be or how if you want it to come all the way to this edge you could I just decided I did not want that and what else um, our belly band is pretty narrow it is um, Oh, it's about an inch. So those are the dimensions on it. So the one that I'm making for you on camera are the exact same uh, dimensions. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this stuff. Well, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and cut our bits up, and then we will ink. So what I did is I just took a page from the kit. This is from my porch prints. Um, I get the the kits confused. One is the tea party kit, and the other is fairy magic. So. Um, I, I'm not going to be able to tell you which is which because they're very similar other than um, the, the tea party one has like the dessert stuff, the cakes and the teapot and stuff like that. So what I did is I just took a kit, a page from the kit, and um, this is the, the width of it. So I trimmed off my all my white borders and then I just folded it in half. And this one again is measuring, I believe it's the same, but let me just confirm. Yeah, it, this one's a little bit high, a little bit slightly taller than one and a quarter. Um, it looks like I didn't cut off um, the bottom, but that's okay. So we're going to start by cutting our tag shape. So you just want to make sure that your um, your fold is on the top there. And I'm just going to, you can cut those however you like. I don't mind like mine to be uh, super tall. They seem distorted when they're like that. I don't like them to be too squarish either, so, or squatty. So let's just do that really quick. And then, so that is our base. So that's gonna go um, like that. And we'll be putting some toppers on and some other fun stuff. So this is what I decided I would use for the, um, the belly band. So let's go ahead and get this prepped for size as well. So it's already, um, this is off of this piece, so it's already um, kind of scored there. So I'm just gonna slide that on there and just evaluate what, um, what length I want that to be. This is going to be the writing space, so that's going to be a contrasting base there for our writing space. So I'm going to go ahead and just, um, you do want to leave, I mean, ho hopefully I can show you what I mean. So over here on this side, see how I have just a bit hanging over? I want that on both, on both sides, so let me fiddle with this a little bit because we want, we don't want this to, to struggle to get in to, we don't want the tag to struggle to get in. So there we go. And so then I can just cut this off, this extra bit off. Um, you can see that underneath, so I can just kind of cut it right here just to minimize the bulk. So that is our belly band. And then our writing space, um, what you wanna do is just fold a little bit in. I'm gonna try to do a little bit less than I did on the other one um, because I want a lower profile on this kind of hinged part that's gonna go inside the tag. So I did just a tiny, tiny little bit. So let's see how, 
how much that is, just for reference, a quarter of an inch. So that's a quarter of an inch. So then we've got to kind of put this up to our tag and um, it's going to go like so. Let me open this as I'm completely off camera, my, my goodness. So we're going to just put that on there like that, just so we can kind of see what we're working with here. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my pencil and mark. I think I'm going to go in on this one as well, just like I did on the prototype. I'm just going to make a pencil mark right there. That's just going to help me to know where my fold is going to be. So then I'm going to fold it and have it meet up with that pencil mark. There is nothing precise about this, you guys, and this would be a great project for scraps. I am just um, happen to be working very diligently on this project, so I'm not going to be um, dipping into my scraps at this point. I do plan on doing a crash or trash here pretty soon. It's been a little while since I did that. So now again we've got this here and then this here and then we want to cut it off. So I'm going to have it cut off um, just right at that edge I guess. I uh, hadn't really didn't think that through on the other one so let me just cut that without being you know being cautious not to cut off that our little um, hinge there. So now I can go ahead and ink and then we will begin the assembly. Okay, coming to the end of the inking here. I do want to show you that I did end up on the little flippy thing. I did go ahead and cut a little bit off of the end because I don't want it to get caught anywhere um, when this gets into the tag. So hoping that that makes sense. So let's start with this. It's already all inked and everything. So we're going to start with the writing space and basically what you're going to do is it's going to be glued to the top side of your um, of your journal. So oh goodness gracious, like this. So so then it's going to come, it's going to have a little bit of a flippy flappy there. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of position this where I want it to be doesn't really matter. I'm just kind of going um, kind of evenly between here and here is my aim. I'm going to turn it over and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on our little flippy floppy. I do have adult words today, I promise. <laughs> As I'm talking about this uh, flippy tag writing space flip out dealio, I do have adult words, I promise. Oh my goodness, this is not coming out. Pardon me. You don't want to unstop these if they're really plugged up with your your glue stopper because it will bust it. But I, it just needs a little bit of um, a little bit of help there. So now I have to completely do this again because knowing me, I'll get it all backwards. <laughs> So let's see what we were doing here. So we're going to go like that. And I'm just going to again position it about halfway. You could measure, of course, if you wanted to. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to try to fold that down and then just give it a good press on this side. And so that's all there is to that piece. And it just folds like that. Now I have some extra bits here I thought would be fun to put on the end of this. Now this will still fold out as long as this is flush with this fold. Um, I, I played with it, I experimented, but I love that little tag bit there. I like that shape so I didn't ink these so my apologies. These are from the kit as well as you probably imagined. So let's go ahead and get this on. I like my tags and stuff to be bigger than this, so that's why I'm going to show you how to how to improvise and make one that's a little bit taller. Uh, I mean, you guys probably already know how to do this, but in case you don't, so that's okay. That cut is not straight, but that's all right. We're not looking for perfection. So that is that, and then we've got our belly band. So then the belly band, I just want to make sure that we're not going to have any trouble getting this to slide in and out. So I'm just going to slide it back on there and just um, verify that really quick. 
make sure we've got plenty of space. It looks like we do because I can see we've got about an eighth of an inch on that side. So that's going to be plenty of room for this to slide in. So let's go ahead and glue that and then we're going to decorate that belly band just a little bit. So it's even going to go over that little, our little uh, fold out writing space there. I love that contrast. Look at that. Isn't that just delightful? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So now we're going to decorate this a little bit and I'm just going to use the same lace as I used on this one just because I really like it. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and put that on there and I can trim this up when I'm done. So I'm just going to use my Fabri-Tac. I mean it covers this up in large part but you can see through it too a little bit of the tones. You certainly would not have to you know put any lace or anything if you didn't want to but I love lace. It's my one of my favorite things to do in my journals. So there we go. So I struggled with my other granddaughter Ayla's journal because I knew that she would appreciate less less lace. <laughs> um, so that was that was tricky for me. I'm going to go ahead and just trim this up with my um, my sewing scissors here. There we go, and this side as well. And see it correctly. There we go. Beautiful. So there we go. And then I've got this beautiful little birthday cake. Isn't that just so, or birthday candle, or candle. It looks like a birthday cake to me, but this is again from the My Porch Prince kits. I did go out and find another kit from Liana Scraps because I am making two to three uh, fairy journal so I want to have plenty to work with so um, I'm gonna I've got another one um, that I, ha I haven't printed it out yet but it's a little bit it's got a different feel than this but that's okay we're gonna go ahead and put that right there so I only obviously want to put glue in the middle of this piece right here in the center making sure I'm not wider than that belly band and then I'm just, I think I'm going to put this one off to this side a little bit just because of, um, we've got a lot going on on the other side over here. And that way I can put a word here if I want to. And we've got an, a hinge, not a hinge, but we've got another one of these um, tabby things that I thought we would use at the top. Similar to, um, to this one. So this one, I love to use this punch. It's this one right here. Unfortunately, I cannot find it, so I cannot link it. I have tried to no avail, but I love using it to make tabs. It's super easy and not, not difficult, and I think it's an interesting, um, uh, interesting look, interesting shape. So I'm just going to glue this on, and see which side we want. Yeah, I want this side on the front. And hopefully this is going to actually fit. Oh yeah, it is because we're going clear down. So if I didn't go clear down, I would not be able to open up this tag. So that's the reason for that. So now we've got a couple of words to put on. What did I do with my words? Did I want the big words or the little words? I know I had a word already, already cut out here. Oh yeah, this one, dessert. Isn't that so sweet? Now I don't like how white this is, so I'm going to grunge it up. Um, because this is going to be a very kind of um, vintage feel kind of um, deal deal here. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Fabri-Tac right there. And we're almost ready to move on to the other one, which is not going to be too complicated at all. Um, it's just a hinge, a hinge top on it to make it taller. There we go. And what do we want on the top one? We have more of this. Let me grab that material. That's not it. Hold on. Got my little basket, my little basket, my big basket. <laughs> where did I stick that? I had a whole nother piece. But where did it go? There it is. Oh boy, that's not a scrap. That is misplaced. <laughs> Look at that. But isn't it so cool? It's just so shabby. I love it. So 
So I'm just going to cut a piece of this and put our word on it on this top um, tab thing here. So let's just kind of kind of get it centered if I can. No big deal if I cannot. There we go. Oh yeah, perfect. Now you can't really see that. Um, you know what? I want to see a little bit of that image, so I'm going to go ahead and trim that top off of that, which is going to get it get it really um, loose and really pretty. So look at what happens there when you cut off that that more defining top on it, which I love. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. And I should have a paper towel here, but I don't. So let me reach for my cart. Thinking about doing another full studio tour. I started, I did one mini tour of just some organizational things, but it would just be easier for me to just do an entire new studio tour. But I just did one in July, so I might wait a little bit longer because I want to show you what I how I utilize my sewing cart and some other things in the studio that make um, make my my creative process a little bit easier so how about we do um, sweet kind of goes with dessert right who doesn't like dessert I like dessert too much as my Waistband, my waistline shows. There we go. Working on getting fit though. I've not been feeling well, so Jim has been on uh, on hold a bit. I'll get back to it. There we go. So we're gonna put that on the top. So sweet. So I will probably be making more of these offline, off camera, because I want to have plenty for my journals, but I don't need to bore you with repetition. So there we go. There is our flippy tag belly band writing space flip out thingy. So there she is. Isn't that so sweet? It's just scrumptious. I want to eat it up. Okay, let's do the other one. Let's do our, our impro improvisation one. So that is this one here. And what I did here is I cut a bunch of butterflies for some of my tabs and stuff here. So we've got that. And then the other thing I did different on this one is I actually cut a butterfly out of the, out of the belly band. So I think that will be fun. So we're gonna start the same way. I'm going to go ahead and um, I need to ink these first because um, I won't be able to get to the top to hinge this without doing that. So I'm just going to do it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do these two pieces and then I'll be right back. Okay. I just realized as I was inking that I cut my hinge as though this was going to be straight, but that's going to be fine because we can trim it off uh, and make the, the corners after we get it glued on. So I'm going to go ahead and hinge this. Um, by making sure these are both going the right way. I think I want this one on the back. And so, just wanna think about how to do this. I wanna make sure that those don't move, so maybe I'll paper clip them. Never done, really, I don't do a lot of hinged work in my, in my journal, so I am learning here as well. There we go, so we're gonna go ahead and use the Fabri-Tac and put this on, I believe that was the fold line, so we're gonna do that. And so I'm just gonna put it right here, just cause it kinda gives me a guide for where my glue needs to go down to. Just a little thing I try to do, keeps me straight. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and put this on. Move it up a little bit. Okay. Scooching it over just to make sure that we've got good coverage on that side, even though we are going to cut our tag shapes. Just making sure it is straight. Um, so let me just pull a little bit and just fold this over. 
just to make sure that it looks straight across the top, and it does. So that's that. So now we can go ahead and do the same here. Now I don't have a glue guide here, so I'm just going to have to kind of guess. Um, it probably was supposed to be folded um, somewhere else. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, it's almost the right length, so it's all right. So this journal is going to be, it's going to have a lot of interactive stuff in it because it's going to be very 3D. And so when I was talking about the fabric earlier, um, I just need a fabric base just because that's how I like to cover my, my journals. But it's going to be, a lot of that fabric is going to be covered over with some mixed media beauty. So let's just make sure that's nice and tight in there. And then I'm going to use my sewing, whoops, my sewing scissors and trim this off. And then we'll cut our tag shapes as well. Whoops. Like so. We're almost to the edge there. Just try not to get my, my sewing scissors cutting that paper. There we go. So that is gorgeous. I love it. It looks like it's a little bit crooked though does it does but you know what perfection is not at play in the studio you know how I say so that's how it's hinging now it probably would be good to do something here as well because that's well maybe it's gonna be okay it probably is fine it's not gonna go anywhere um, probably just need to really um, let me put some more some glue in here just to make sure that that's not gonna be a problem and there. I don't think it's going to be an issue though. I can look at it later and see if there's anything more I need to do there. So now we're going to cut our tag shapes and I'm going to use my paper scissors because again, I do not want to ruin my sewing scissors. So I'm just going to cut my tag shape here about the same size as the other one. There we go. Oh, this is going to be gorgeous, isn't it? love it I love thinking outside of the box I don't do it well all the time because I am a perfectionist and I have my processes but this is awesome look at that oh I love it I'm gonna ink it give it some grungy look on the edges here it almost looks like it's part of the paper doesn't it isn't that gorgeous oh do you guys ever dream of ideas when you're sleeping? I do. <laughs> I do. Okay, so this belly band is going to go here, and I want it to be exactly like that. I want it to show through that, um, the center of this tag base. So I'm going to make a pencil mark um, here and here so I know where to fold just to maintain that that center so I'm gonna go ahead and fold that on that pencil line that I just made I hope you guys can see okay and again it's precision is not that important here I'm probably making way more of a um, gap there than I than I think in theory need I'm gonna go ahead and trim this off um, just being careful not to trim it so far back that it shows behind that um, well, it's not going to show, but I'm just being mindful, I guess, is what I'm saying. There we go. Because that would be me. Go ahead and cut something and, and have it affect that, um, that beautiful uh, thing that we're doing there. So we're going to go ahead and find that pencil line, which is right here. Um, let's see. Right here. Yeah, I'm just lining up these edges, too, so that we're not crooked as best I can. Go ahead and do that. And so we've got a lot of excess here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off. Uh, I don't, so I need to cut off, make sure I cut off the top part, not the bottom part. So I'm just gonna cut off about that much. And then let me take a moment and ink this up and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I went ahead and took a moment to ink up the butterflies as well. So, so here we go. So this is our belly band. <clears throat> and as you can see, we have plenty of 
wiggle room here, I think. Oh, we didn't put the paper thing on it first, though. Still should be okay because we've still got an eighth of an inch there on that edge. I really didn't um, check that very well. So let me go ahead and glue this down here. I'm definitely going to use this belly band idea more because I love the idea of being able to put this down in a journal. I'm going to try to widen this just a little bit just because I feel I'm feeling concerned about that being able to fit in there. So no effect on that at all in terms of the um, the 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 look of that. So that is our little belly band with our cut out butterfly. So we don't want to put that on right now because we got to work on our writing space. So this one, oh, and let me give you dimensions. Sorry. This is seven and a half by three. The belly band is two by uh, three and an eighth. And then our writing space is three and a half. So I had already determined that. So we want to get our our little um, hinge here. Let me just, I guess it doesn't matter. That's going to be folded over. So again, I'm just going to fold over a bit here. Um, again, probably about a quarter of an inch. Um, not, it doesn't matter if you're per super precise, no need for a scoreboard or anything. Um, this paper seems to be thicker. This is probably paper from the first batch that I printed of the kit. So I'm going to go a little bit thicker on that, probably more like a quarter of an inch because I'm having a hard time folding that thicker paper. There we go. So that's that. I'm going to move the camera up. I feel like I'm way too close. Goodness gracious. Okay, so that's that. And so this is going to go again like so. I'm not sure that I like the contrast of these two papers, though, um, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, because it seems like a very vast difference in color, but we're going to go with it. Um, I do like that we've got the same print going on here, so we're just going to um, we're just going to go with it. So I'm going to go ahead and make a mark where I want to fold this. And again, I'm not going to go right to the edge of the tag, and I'm going to go ahead and fold that back on itself. And again, just approximation. Um, the measurements are not that important. I, I don't do a lot of measuring. Sometimes when I'm just creating on the fly um, on my own, I, I don't worry about it. So, And I'm just going to um, kind of go like this and just make a mark here because I don't remember I don't want that, that inside part to be the same. So I'm just going to reach over here and cut that off really quick. There we go. So give me just a quick moment to ink this up and I'll be back. Okay, so I did kind of give this a little bit more of a vintage look there by just using my um, my inker and just kind of going like that because it seemed really, really bold. Okay, so now, which was the front? This was the front. Um, I remember just because I wanted this part here. So again, we're going to just slide this on here, and then we'll flip it over and glue it. It's going to go right there. We're covering up a lot of this, um, these flowers that are just so beautiful, but you know, it happens. So I'm going to go, I'm going a little bit lower on this one again, because I want those flowers sticking up here at the top. Um, of course, you don't have to do that. You can do what you'd like to do. Oh my goodness. I am all cattywampus here. <laughs> I have to have things in a certain place to glue properly. That's okay, we can just pick this back up and try again. Oh, I didn't get some ink right here. Hold on. Before we get too far, this is where we cut those tag shapes there. This is the front, so... I'm thinking, I'm wondering if I want to move this actually up rather than down because then you can see that at the bottom. So maybe maybe about right in the, you know, three quarters of the way down. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, so we're just going to put that on there and just 
butt it up there and make it nice and firm. Oh my goodness. There we go. Like so. Whoops. Don't wrinkle the paper, Karen. Eh? And then that folds in like that. And there we have it. Oh, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, so for this, you know how I had the, um, I put on these little tabby things on this one. I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to use the butterflies. So, and I want to bring out those flowers that are d down here into this. So I'm going to, that is not straight. That is not straight. Oh well. <laughs> um, but I want the little ant the little um, things, whatever those things are called, antennas, to go. Um, oh no, we have to go like that. It has to be like that. So maybe, ooh, maybe we just fold the butterfly in half. Shall we? Let's try it. We've got a few here to play with. I just don't know how those little antler thingies are going to work. Is that what they're called? They're not antlers. Oh, my goodness. Tell me what those are called. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm going to ink the inside of this butterfly a little bit because I don't want any of that white showing. You can call me crazy now if you'd like. I wouldn't be offended. Oh, I love that idea. Oh, I love that idea. Yes. Okay, we're going to go ahead and Put some glue on here. I'm just going to try to get a little bit on that antler there. And we're going to put this down. This is so cool. Okay, so we're going to just slide her on here and just put that baby right there. Oh, that's so fun. Look at that. I sometimes surprise myself. I love that. I love it when that happens. So let's go ahead, oh, you know what now has happened? Is now our belly band is not gonna really reflect anything. Darn it, that was poorly planned. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen here. It'll be okay though, I promise. Come on, get up there. It's just gonna show words instead of a picture. I wasn't thinking about that correctly, but my butterfly is not interfering as long as I push that over there a little bit. Um, boy, I'm bummed about that though. Really bummed about that. But that is okay. I mean, this can go anywhere. You know, this can go clear up here. It could go here. It's just kind of slides. So I would position it right about there so that we don't see that butterfly underneath. It's okay. It's not what I intended, but that is all right. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a butterfly up here on both sides. I don't think I put anything on the other side. I may have to rectify that on those ones. So let's go ahead and put this one down. We're going to use the fabric tac Because we're putting on this fabric here. Coffee dyed. I'm waiting for it to come to Hobby Lobby. I got that last year and they don't have it yet. It's in their springs, their spring uh, collection, but I have not seen it back yet. So we're just gonna put that right there, just like that. And then we're gonna turn her over and put another one on the back. So I hope you guys are doing okay and uh, that you're, you're creating and making your heart happy doing what you love in your spare time. Um, I know I am. This is like my favorite thing to do. It makes me happy. Uh, with summer summer coming and summer break coming for school, I plan to spend more time outside, but I will balance that all out. I've got no kids at home, so it's just my husband and I, so I have plenty of time for for creating, but still trying to balance out like time creating to doing reading and other things that are good for my soul as well as, you know, watching YouTube videos, supporting other creators without going bonkers and feeling guilty when I can't keep up with watching other people's creativity. I try to, I try to keep a good balance there. So as I would hope that other people would do in terms of watching my videos, please don't ever stress yourself out. You do what you need to do uh, for your life. So let's go ahead and get um, a word to go on here. 
I think I like this enchanting on this one. Um, oh, I don't have any lace on this at all. You know what I want to do? Segue. I'm going to put a little bit of that lace on the bottom of this belly band. Because I just... Oh, you know what? But I have... This is not the lace I used. So what did I do with that piece that I cut off? Oh, no. All right. Um, it's okay, though. There's no rules, right? There are no rules. So I'm just finding a piece of this here real quick. And I'm going to glue that on the bottom here, which I think will be really pretty. So let me do that. I just feel like lace just gives a really great look to a final final project. I just think it's all, always really beautiful. It doesn't have to be really feminine lace. I don't feel like this is feminine lace at all. It's really pretty. This could almost go right there and have that pop up there. So again, you could decide, I kind of like that because then we don't have to worry about that butterfly and we're still not to the bottom of the tag. So whatever you choose. I think I'm gonna keep it up here just for the pictures and whatnot. So we're gonna put one more word here. I think I want magical. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. You don't need to see me do this last word. And I thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.